Scorpio, good morning. Welcome to your general sun, moon, rising reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. I'm here to welcome everybody. New viewers, new subscribers, my regulars, cross-watchers, passers-by, the curious of you. You're all very, very welcome. The only message I do have for you is please take the bits that resonate. Don't try and make it fit. This will just lead you to wrong conclusions. Let it resonate naturally. If it doesn't, then perhaps a later video will. And for that, I hope you'll stick around and perhaps give me another chance. But one thing I am is a no-nonsense tarot reader. I won't flower my readings. I will not tell you what you want to hear. I'll tell you what I see. Okay. From my point of view, there is no such thing as a bag card in tarot. Death card. You know, the transition card. The tower. You know, what might seem as a very rubbish time at the moment is always for the greater good. That sounds easy, but that's the bit we most learn from. It's like when your mama, mother or father tells you not to touch something, it's hot. You're scratching your head thinking, what's hot? You realise what hot is when you touch it. You see, you have to experience it to know it. And this is how we develop spiritually. Okay. I'm not going to turn it into a lecture. Sorry, I apologise. All right, let's get in. You came here for a tarot reading. Here we go. What's going on for my scorpion friends? Have you still got that proverbial sting in your tail? Here we go. Scorpio, what's going on? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Ooh. There's a marriage. Very different beliefs, cultural beliefs, different upbringing, but there's very different beliefs here. I'm kind of getting that you're finally understanding where somebody's coming from. Okay, but there is a very traditionalistic attitude here. All right. Some of you feel it's run its course. There's change coming. There's irrevocable change within this situation, either in a marriage situation or a long-term relationship or even a long-term contract in work. But something long-term, what you thought was going to be there for the rest of your life, there's irrevocable change. There's pain. There's separation. Um, but remember what I said. There's only one way with this. When this happens, the only way is up. So, you know, for a lot of you, the past 10 years or so have not been good. You've been going around in circles. Perhaps some of you have been dealing with somebody who's very domineering, very narcissistic, very controlling. It's kind of like, do it my way or the highway. Well, now you're, you're coming to terms with the past. You're getting very, very strong. Okay, and I'm getting there's a new opportunity coming your way. Now, whether that opportunity manifests in the person, with in a person, somebody new, or whether it's a new job, but there's a change in direction here, which will enable you to heal. I'm getting for some of you that it does mean travel. You have been detaching for the last six years plus. You've been detaching from something. Okay. Now, what I'm getting is, for one or two of you, there is a marriage or somebody you dealt with in the past, even as far as six years ago, is re-entering your life in some form. Okay, even if that person doesn't manifest physically, that energy is still around you. Okay, and it's affecting your decisions. There's a reconnection here. But your head and your heart are not where you are physically at. They're for far away, distant lands or with somebody else. See, what I'm getting is you are turning your back spiritually and emotionally on a situation where there's marriage involved. Even if this is the person you're dealing with who is married, it's Taurus energy. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to give up what they've attained. Either way, there's a revocable change here. Lovers, mm, 
very conflicted interests. You want to branch out on your own. There's something new here. You're looking for adventure now. You're not looking for stagnant situation. You're not looking for repetitive days. Routine. For one or two of you, even the, the singles of you are perhaps dealing with somebody who's been unmarried or separated. But there's definitely chemistry between here, you and somebody. Okay, now you could be dealing with a soulmate. So there could be the reappearance or appearance of a soulmate. With a justice card here, some of you are waiting on a decision, okay, about a divorce, a separation, custody of a child. Okay, it's been a very, very trying time. But what I'm getting is good news coming in that will favour you. You will have to compromise. I'm kind of getting, you won't get it all your own way, but it'll be... It'll free you off to be able to make a decision, step outside this routine, step outside this comfort zone that you're in, okay, and start a brand new life. It's seeing the truth about the past. You're finally realising the truth. You are finally coming to terms. Now, a lot of effort has been put into this over the years, but you've finally realised that something is over. There is a lot of comfort. Your head and your heart have been going off in two directions, but now I'm kind of getting there pulling in the same way. I am getting communication coming in, as I say, but it will require confidence within yourself, okay, to branch out into something new. You could be hearing news that if you're dealing with somebody who is married and been waiting on a divorce, you could be hearing news of that divorce. But that puts you in a position where you'll have to make a decision. Fairly quick decision, but that puts you in a decision on how you want to go forward with this person. It will present its challenges because even with divorce, you know, the ex is still there spiritually. And energetically. So it's going to take a long time. There's a long time recovery here from a certain situation. You can leave it physically in a day, in a few minutes, but it takes a lot longer to energetically. What I'm getting is there's new thrust, there's new drive. You're very much determined. Once you've made up your mind, you won't give up. The world card, bringing closure to the past. You have come full circle with somebody, but now there's a new beginning. But one thing, you're beginning to understand where somebody is actually coming from. There's an understanding between you two, which brings in new opportunities and brings in a decision on which way you want to go. It'll be overcoming a fear of commitment. Now, commitment, just like reconciliation in my book, can go on different levels. Commitment is not necessarily marrying a person and living with them. You can be loyal to this person and committed. Commitment works on several different levels. But one way or the other, I am getting that you will energetically and physically, a lot of you bring conclusions to the past. You've been yearning for change for a long time and those changes are now coming in. They will present new challenges, okay? There you go, with that Six of Swords. Okay, you're leaving somebody or something behind. For a lot of you, it's relocation. You see, the way I read tarot as well is, I split the card in the middle. The left-hand side of the card, I don't know how you're seeing this, but it's still the left, take my word. You've got this Six of Swords clumped together, you see? All right. There it is. You've come a long way, all right? You've come a long way. You're moving into, I'm kind of getting an arranged meeting, perhaps with a solicitor or somebody, but an arranged meeting and finally coming to terms with somebody. And even where there's children, I'm kind of getting one or two of you will move on and take the kids with you, okay? 
but I'm getting a, an arrangement for a meeting here. There's been a lot of conflict in the past, but it's finally coming to an end. And even if you're dealing with somebody with kids, like I say, there's, there's the question of acceptance here. Yeah, you've been feeling stuck. Somebody has been self-sabotaging in the past, putting other people's feelings first. But you see here, even, even in this Six of Swords, you've got these two swords on the round. This is this, this decision. All right. Seeing the truth about the past, seeing who you want to carry forward in your life. Then you've got the Four of Swords, respite, privacy. Okay, see how it works? I'm giving you a tarot lesson here. Whoa, fresh start. Yeah, overcoming the fear, changing a lot of elements in your lifestyle, leading a completely new one. And there is trouble here for some of you. Overcoming conflict, conflicting interests. I'm picking up a big relief. Not taking your not taking things so seriously going forward because of this big relief. There could be a settlement or even an inheritance here for one or two of you. But I'm getting a decision here, a legal decision. All right, now some of you could be selling a house or even buying a new house or renting a new house. But what I can see is you know you're dealing with people of authority, landlords, etc. Yeah. Completely different perspective. If you feel things are being rushed, it's quite within your power to slow it down. Somebody here does have regrets. Mm, they want to reconnect with you despite the challenges. Oh, there's that Four of Swords I was talking about. You see? Respite. See that Four of Swords? Respite. Mm, taking time out to think of a way forward. Now you could be dealing with somebody who is very quiet at the moment because they are sorting things out. They want to be alone at the moment. They're avoiding confrontation. They have got a very different perspective. Somebody here has had a change of heart. Mm, got Virgo energy here now. Well, got Gemini energy here, Taurus energy, Virgo energy. Mm, dealing with two very or even three di very different situations here. I'm talking to the singles of you as well. Not just the marrieds and the couples. So you could be leaving a Taurus energy and coming into a much more Virgo energy. Tracting pretty much like for like. Very grounded energy, very stable energy. Hmm. A lot of contemplation, a lot of self, self-reflection. Mm. Somebody is realizing, you know, they regret making a decision. They regret letting you out your life. Yeah. Finally, bringing peace. News coming in, an honest conversation. A meeting taking place. What I'm getting here is you clearing past energy. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching.